Hello, welcome to the video for what is Get All Actors of Class. This is the Get All Actors of Class node in Unreal Engine 4. It's pretty simple. Basically, you select the class you want to find, and it's going to output an array of those items. Now, if we went ahead, I run my example, we'll see it says pickups three at the bottom. And when I pick up each of them, I'm destroying them and telling the player I picked up one and that player lets the user interface know to go ahead and check and see how many are left, which is this little function here. Basically every time I pick up one, I see how many are left, I get the length of the array, and then I go ahead and set that to our screen. So in terms of what it's getting, right here you have your world outliner which shows everything in your level. If you notice I have three generic pickups. When I run the game you'll notice it fills up with a few other things but I have three generic pickups. If we watch this side of the screen while I'm playing you'll notice one of them gets picked up, it's destroyed, and then it recalculates the total and now I have two generic pickups. One generic pickup and zero generic pickups. So it's pretty simple, like you can see there. It basically gives you back an array that you can choose to do whatever you want with. I have another example of something. I have under here a collision zone. If I was to fall off of my collision zone, it's going to drop me back up to the player start. And that's pretty simple. Basically, all I'm doing is finding all of my actors of class player start, because if you notice right here, this is of type player start. I am getting the value of the first one because I only have one, getting that location, and then I'm setting the player's location to where the player start location is. That's a nice and easy way to kind of dynamically set up a respawn point. You could, let's say for example, you had a multiplayer game or you kind of want to make it a little more difficult when the player dies, maybe they're in the maze and you want to really annoy them. You know, set up six or seven spawn points in your maze and then when you're doing this just simply get a sorry instead of getting the first one you know we could do random integer in range and you know and that's let's pull out this let's pull out the length there we go we got the length and we'll go from a minimum to a maximum we actually need to subtract one because remember arrays are from zero to um, basically the length minus one and if we did this right here, if we go and rerun this, it should still work. Okay, but if we were to go in and say I had a player start, and I had another player start, and another player start, and shoot, let's go to another player start here. Let's see what happens. Well, we started over here, we fall off, and we came back over there. Fall off, came back up, oh, there's a different player start. And I fell off too far. But basically what that is doing is I'm going ahead and I'm getting a random player start out of all of them and resetting the player to that location. So that's another use for get all actors. If you notice, I didn't have to change, you know, I didn't have to set up an array ahead of time or change which actors I had set up. I basically dynamically figured out what I wanted, got all the instance of it, and then acted upon it. So there you go. There's get all actors of class. It's really powerful. You will find as you start to make more robust levels, it is a great way of, of having interactive interactivity in your level and acting upon conditions. You could, um, just as another quick one, let's say you had a house and it had um, lights set outside. And let's say you allowed your player to shoot the lights and um, disable some of them. But there was also a switch that turned on and off all the lights. Well, you could easily get all the lights, tell all the lights to turn on or off instead of having to dynamically know which ones are still there in terms of explosions and not. So you can dynamically change the results of a um, function call like turn on all the lights, then you can actually get all the lights that are left using get all actors and then act appropriately. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to leave comments below.